Hi, Chem Team. Uh, so we've learned that there's a couple of ways to represent the electrons in an atom. Uh, we can use a Bohr model, which is relatively easy to draw uh, because it only shows the shells of electrons. Uh, but the downside of a Bohr model is that it is missing uh, details on what these orbitals embedded in the shells look like. Uh, so if we wanted to, we could make a more complete model of the atom that included those orbital shapes. Uh, the pros of this type of model would be that it's, it's very detailed, it shows all the shapes, but it would take uh, a significantly longer amount of time to draw. So what chemists will do is they will express uh, electron location in something called an electron configuration, which is just a short description of where electrons are located in an atom. So take, for instance, oxygen, which has uh, eight positive protons and uh, eight neutrons in its nucleus. Uh, those eight protons will attract eight electrons, which will attract into the most stable orbitals around oxygen first. Uh, so the first two electrons will attract into the first shell's s orbital, whereas the next two electrons will try to attract those to the nucleus, but repel into the second shell's S orbital. Uh, and remaining electrons will repel into the less stable uh, second shell p orbitals. And again, these electrons won't share orbitals with each other uh, unless there's no other space available. So this last electron will double up uh, with this other electron. Now, rather than drawing all of this out, chemists will write an electron configuration. So because the first shell's s orbital has two electrons, uh, chemists will write this as uh, the first shell's s orbital has two electrons. And because the second shell's s orbital has two electrons, the chemist will write this as the second shell's s orbital has two electrons. And last, because the second shell's p orbitals have four electrons, these p orbitals in the second shell have four electrons, a uh, chemist will write this as the second shell's p orbitals having four electrons. And so just this string of letters, that's the electron configuration. This string of letters and numbers represents the location of all these electrons shown here. And that's it. You've got a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.